Hey friend, this is Eric from Miller Music, and today we are talking about a vocal recording technique that I really wish I knew so many years ago when starting out recording. Uh, but before we get started, I just want to ask you a question. Are you getting stuck in the songwriting or recording process? Um, if you are, I have a brand new free guide that will help you through this. It's how to write, record, and release your music in 10 weeks. It talks about everything from generating your songwriting idea to setting up a simple home studio and finally to releasing your music. So, so many musicians write great music, but they get stuck along the process and never actually release their music. So this guide will help you through that. You can go to millermusic.co forward slash free guide, or you can click the link in the description below. All right, let's jump into our topic for today. Okay, so I have Studio One loaded up here, and you can see all these green tracks right over here. These are all the vocal tracks, all right? In this song, we actually have one main male voice and one main female voice. And in the past, what I would do is just load up these inserts right here with just different effects and plugins, okay? So on each track, you'd have you know multiple different plugins. It would make things really messy looking and confusing. But then I discovered the vocal bus track, all right? So basically what this is, is it's a bus you can assign by right-clicking on any track that you want and then add bus channel, okay? And what that'll do is create automatically create a bus track and then you can add all of your effects onto that bus track. When you have other vocal tracks, all right, you can also set the output of those tracks to the same vocal bus so that you have all of the same effects being applied to all of those different vocal tracks. It just makes for a much cleaner looking mixing board and also just more efficient. Now here, because there was actually, there's that I created two vocal tracks because I wanted to have a little bit of different compression settings for the female voice than I did the male because of the way she was singing the phrases. She was singing them um, loud on certain phrases and then really quieter on other phrases so it, it wasn't really balanced so I was able to adjust that in the compression setting but all of the other tracks are the exact same and I just copied the track set, uh, list right to that other vocal bus all right so let me just let you guys listen to this okay this is going to be the chorus this is a song um, I wrote with my band turn to you okay I just gotta turn oh, Turn to you Turn to you You're my rescue When I turn to you You are the way It's what you say I believe it's true So I turn All right, so the next thing I want to show you is if you go over here, okay, and you click expand layers, you have all these hidden tracks and hidden takes. And what this is, is how to comp your vocal. So how to take multiple different takes when you're recording your, your voice, then compile them later into one final vocal take of, you know, all of the best takes you had prior to that. So. It's super easy to do in Studio One. What you do is in the inspector window, you come over to here to layers, and then you click on add layer. And what that will do is it'll put on a layer right below your vocal take. And you can put as many as you want. In this, you can see we've had, we've had four layers. And then once you're done, you create another layer and you call this comp. Um, right here and then it will be the comp of all of the best vocal takes and you can see when you in studio one when you highlight over a track it gives this um, little symbol here and you can just select which part you know you can do phrase by phrase or um, section by section and it'll you select that and it'll automatically paste that up into your vocal comp track so you can see that here I it's yellow because I highlighted that and then pasted it up into the vocal comp track. And then down here, I highlighted this blue section and then it automatically pasted it up into here. When you're done, you just click the layers button and those tracks just disappear. So it's, it's just a much cleaner way of seeing all your, your voice tracks, um, setting them up for mixing later on. All right, so I hope that was helpful, guys. This is just a speedy way to do things. It can save a lot of time um, when mixing your tracks, all right? So if you have questions, 
please leave a comment below. Um, I'd love to help you out on mixing. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.